Welcome to our step-by-step -step guide on inserting an IV using ultrasound guidance in a patient with challenging veins. In this video, we'll navigate the complexities presented by a patient with hemiparesis, where smaller veins add to the challenge. Stick around for essential tips and crucial steps to ensure successful ultrasound-guided IV placement. With difficult IV access, who will have surgery on the left arm, uh, she had a hemiparesis on the right-hand side of the body, so this arm is not that functional. And from what the patient says, it's uh, difficult to place IV lines on this side. They already did one attempt here on the hand, which was not successful. So for that reason, we're going to look with ultrasound to see what we can find. So we place the drape. And instead of using gel, we'll use a disinfectant to create contact medium. Place a tourniquet. Voilà. Okay. And two. Them. And just by placing the the transducer at the elbow crease, the artery in the middle of the screen, which is pulsating, and then next to it, there's a couple of veins. So. For example, this one here, I prefer to take this one in the lower arm because then if the patient bends the arm, this will not occlude the IV line. Um, we're going to do an out-of-plane approach. So now I'm pushing on top of the vein. There, I try to enter the vein from the middle and I place the tip of the catheter in the middle of the vein. You can see that the chamber is filling with blood. I'm go going to lower down the angle of the needle and I'm going to advance the catheter a bit more. And the tip of the needle is still in the middle of the vein. What we can do also is turn the transducer 90 degrees and try to visualize the vein in a longitudinal view, which you can see there. And the needle is coming from the right-hand side now in plane. So now we are sure that we are in the center of the vein. And while we are there, I'm going to push the plastic catheter with one finger over the needle. And if you film there on the screen, you can see actually the plastic catheter advancing in the vein. That's it. And now I'm going to pull back the needle. It's coming out. We're going to release the tourniquet. And I'm going to occlude the vessel distal to the plastic catheter. We're going to connect. Now you've seen the complete process of using ultrasound guidance for IV insertion in patients with difficult veins. Apply these techniques and tips in your practice for better outcomes. Don't forget to download Nysora's Difficult IV Access app for more cases like this. And if you like Nysora's videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and never miss the future videos. Greetings.